fell asleep. Yeah. They have no clue. Well, it's not Somehow, just that, but I mean, figure out how to direct. You know how this mass harness of energy. They stopped him from doing it because yeah, there's a whole lot. There's a whole yeah. lot of things that we don't know. So, so, and then all his documents were taken by this uh, secret government organization. That's Edison, right? The, uh, or Jefferson was it? Well, it's actually the guys that were behind uh, stopping him were um, Chase Chase Morgan. Oh, yeah, yeah, The yeah, banker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because he was talking about giving away free energy. But also... He figured it out years ago. Also, the government, there was an agency that came in as soon as he died. And that agency still exists today. And they're still holding on to, to his uh, documents under national security. But... Um, they're the ones that came in and took all his documents showing what he did and how he did it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really interesting. It's right here in New Jersey. It's Alpine, New Jersey. I'll never forget it because when I was going to work on that cell tower, Yeah. I seen Chris Rock. Oh, he wow. He gets out the car and closes his own gate. He don't have automatic gates. He's like a regular person. He's yeah. Like but anyway, uh, Oh, he, he lives, lives in right Alpine, to, huh? Yeah, he lives right next to the Alpine Tower. Oh, wow. Okay. I met a guy named Brian. I forget his last name. Mm -hmm. He had one of those last names that just seems like his grandfather and that grandfather and grandfather. They were all like either Masons or Illuminati or something. He had a lot of information when he found out that I was so into it. Yeah. Man, he, the things he was telling me, man, it's crazy. Wow. It's unbelievable. But, uh, but like this, supposedly, there's no facts. Right. But it's not far-fetched at all. The Absolutely not. Fiber optics right now. Yeah. You know what that is, right? It's glass wire. Yeah. So there's nothing faster than the speed of light, supposedly, right? Right. To our knowledge, um, they're shining a laser. Well, no, there is faster than speed of light. The problem is that you can't accelerate to the speed of light. That's the problem. But you can go faster than the speed of light. That's what... I mean, that's basically what Einstein said. Um, for example, so have you seen those... Uh, uh, in order to transmit data, like financial data, there are some places that they've got these uh, uh, dishes. Yeah, yeah, I installed those two microwave dishes. Okay, and yeah. they're lined up across and the they're world. Strong. They're yeah. Like, so strong. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they're in seconds. In seconds right. Seconds it happens. Right. So they're no, working. I used to align them. I used to climb the towers and align them using these meters. That that uh, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't. I don't even understand how you could how you could align them properly. Considering the fact you, you that the world the is spherical, point of view of where we're going because I can never see where they want me to set it. Set yeah, it to. right. I would see the guy flashing a mirror. Tw yo, seven miles out, eleven miles. Out, it's phenomenal that you will see that flashing fucking mirror. Wow. I got bad eyes. Yeah. But when you're hundreds of feet in the air and you're looking out, yeah, you will see that fucking flash. Wow. And then I know to aim my microwave in that area. Yeah. And then the RF monitor helps me pick her off. You know. Uh, Critique it to a more acceptable, you know, level. Right. But what I was doing at, you know, we had RF awareness class, and, and I'm all thinking that this this microwave is the strongest means. Right. It fucks you up really bad. Yeah. My language, but no, no problem. Yeah. While the guy was flashing the mirror, I wonder if that shit was blasting at me, and if I was blasting him at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Because we're blasting each other trying to line this fucking thing up. Right. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, yeah, I get holy it. shit. <laughs> these jobs, a lot of these jobs are, are, are good. Tower climbers don't make enough. Yeah. They try to hire guys for like 15, 20 bucks an hour. Yeah. When you get really good, you make about 30 to 40 bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. But if you're not in a union or, or a job that's doing a lot of prevailing wage jobs, right. then you don't make the big bucks. Some jobs are, you know, prevailing wage and they force the company to pay. Well, not force, but by law, they have to pay their workers yeah. $95 an hour, 80 bucks. Whatever wow. the prevailing wages of that county you know, you know, rate is sure. whatever the rate is. Sure. And uh, you know, they just don't make enough. So, you know, they like having dummies up there hurting themselves, blasting themselves, and it's the number one deaths 
you know, in, in any construction trade in the world. Yeah. A lot of people wow. fall into their deaths. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, you don't need a high school diploma. You don't need anything. You pass that tower training class. Yeah. You're going to do a harness and you're going to go up the tower. Yeah. It's crazy. But yeah, um, I forgot what I was going to say about that. But, uh, Oh, but the fiber optics. Yeah. When, when when I first got into it, we were doing that. We were doing, um, you know, sprint sites and, and next hill sites actually. Okay. And uh, you know, it's, it was still running for coax, the same thing that you run to your TV. Yeah, coax. But bigger, yeah. inch and five eighths, two inch cable. Yeah. You know, four inch elliptical cable, depending on the lap distance equals resistance. You know? Sure. So. Uh, you know, I got used to the coax, and when fiber came out, and they put that on my hands, I'm like, yo, how does this skinny little wire does the work of 10 of these huge cables? I just don't get it. Right. I can't understand the radiation going through. Why does you can't pump more radiation through the cable? Right. Well, because the light is faster, and, you know, the cable actually takes time. Coax copper cable right. actually takes time to go up the tower. Like, one, two, three, four, boom. Now it's yeah, right. the tower. But now it's taking, you know, a few seconds to radiate to the next tower. Cause they don't, it doesn't go from phone to phone. It goes, if I call your phone right now, there's a whole system going on. I'm, I'm calling the nearest cell tower. That cell tower is connected to the next nearest cell tower that's next to your phone. Right. Whether we're together or not. Right. And, and, and if from, from your phone, from, I mean, from that cell tower that, that I think to first, yeah. it goes to the hub, to a main hub. Right. And that's how they can always monitor people's calls. How long is GPS like? Uh, one minute. Yeah, I'll be there in one minute, it says. But what I wanted to tell you, one of the most interesting things this guy told me was about the UFO crash landings, right? Okay. This is when cars and machinery and everything first came out. Supposedly, rumor was that they, you know, checked out a UFO. Man, bullshit. They've been had this technology, this human technology. Right. They just released it in right. the 50s and early 40s and 30s, whatever year it was, I'm not too sure. Sure. But when they, but they, like, some conspiracy theorists say there was, you know, uh, mechanic mechanisms from UFOs. Oh, How shit. I don't know. Uh, um, just, so we weren't allowed to get on the local because they were paving it or something like that. Oh, okay. So it's going to be three minutes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, go ahead. That, that sounds great. Oh, yeah, about the UFOs. Yeah. Now, if car ingenuity came out of a UFO, why the fuck these cars can't fly yet? It's bullshit. They then had this mechanism shit. Right. For cars to work off the of rotary motors back then. Right. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, they did work on rotary motors, right? Yeah, yeah. But then they did away with it because rotary was sideways. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the pistons worked a little better. And yeah. Japanese totally got it the best with the Super Well, I mean, plus, I, I understand that the rotary motors were, prob were also more efficient, and they didn't want that in the diesel and the gas industry. Oh, yeah, they wanted us to, to spend gas, yeah. Right. Definitely, yeah, without a doubt. <clears throat> but um, what they really discovered was communications. Right. Well, supposedly they had that already, too. Yeah. But that's what was was um, an alien act. Long story short, from what I got from this guy was yeah. while they were taking apart the UFO to yeah. figure out how to fuck this, this thing levitate and zip at these feet that they don't know how fast. Right. While they were dewiring this thing, they want to know what the wires were. They want to know what the materials this thing was made out of, right? Right. And the closest thing they can describe the wiring that it was made that that, that controlled these control boards yeah. was diamond. And gems and like rubies. And... Oh, so wow. imagine instead of glass that we use, imagine that being pure diamond. Yeah. How fast would that make the speed of light? Does it create a vortex? Right. Does it amplify the speed? Right. What happens? Does it, it, does the vortex allow more data to go in between the middle of the hole now? Like, right. like what's going on? You, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I, I thought that, I thought that to be like fucking phenomenal because. Well, I mean. You know how, like, Superman, in the Superman movie, he had those shards, those glass shards? Oh, the kryptonite thing? No, no, he, his glass shards, when he set up his uh, his fortress in, like, Alaska, 
he put a, in a glass shard and all this, like, like his father appeared. Oh, yeah, right? it's like data, right? Right. That's a real thing. Yeah, that we is, We can right? really store information in these rocks. And glass. And, and, and a lot of information. Not just a little bit of information. A ton of information. And that's what they're working on now, from what I hear. And they've probably been, like, those those rocks and pieces of metal with those little medallions that they find, that's probably all stored information. Yeah, it's probably all data. So, like, I don't I don't get too far into the alien thing, but, uh, like, all these people, they talk about how they, they found little chips of metal in their bodies, and, uh, like, nobody knows where this substance comes from. They've never seen it before. And if that's real... I can only imagine those are probably shards of data. And if we could figure out how to tap into that, and who knows, maybe the government has, then we could really unlock some, some real information. And that would be amazing. All the world's in, known information just stored on one diamond. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Yep. So, I mean, basically, so what I just said is not too far-fetched, in your opinion. No, Based on what all. you know about storing data on diamonds and glass and rocks and whatever. Yeah. I think that's phenomenal. Like, that, that's crazy. Absolutely, man. Crystals. That's yeah, what. Yeah, that's, that's what I, that's crystals. what you told me, like crystals and diamonds yeah. and gems and crystals you can store tons of information on them so it's it's always funny you know you have all these uh all these people that are new agey talking about how powerful crystals are and maybe those maybe those hippies are onto something and they didn't even they didn't even realize it like how well, maybe they did they just they're dressed in style the way they look and talk Nobody took them seriously. Yeah. Maybe and, they did feel better. And they don't they don't understand the science, so they explain it in their own dumb ways. In their own high yeah, dumb ways, yeah, exactly. Like how we used to explain um, stars. You know, a thousand years ago. How do you explain a star? Yeah. You know? 